in this video we're just going to make some little um baby dummy cake toppers which look nice on cupcakes so these are to celebrate the birth of the royal baby so i'm going to use some ready colored fondant and um, just makes it a little bit easier so i've got some renshaws here so i've just got a white one and then i've got a navy blue one and a ruby red one which i thought were nice for the union jack colors i'm just going to start with my blue fondant i'm going to roll it out not really thin so it's got a little bit of thickness to it and i'm going to use a heart shaped cutter so i've just got quite a small one you might want to go for them a little bit bigger than what i've done them and I'll just I'll cut a couple out because I'll show you them with different coloured middles as well. Um, I don't know if you can see on the screen, there's one there that I've made earlier that's just drying. We want something that's quite a basic shape like that. Now, you need something that's got a rounded or a curved edge on it. Um, so a circle cut is fine. I just came across the Easter egg shaped one first, so I'm going to use this. And I'm just going to cut off the bottom triangle of each of my hearts. Okay. I'm just going to gently round off that edge so that we don't have a little point. And that's going to give us a basic dummy shape or pacifier. It's known as just other countries, I think. So we're going to need some white now. We're just going to roll it nice and thin. So much thinner than what we have done for the blue bits. Let's see, I've managed to get a bit of blue already in my white. So try and keep your white away from the other colours so that you don't get red or blue mixed in with it. So now I've got that rolled out nice and thin, I'm going to just cut strips off it. Now I want a slightly thicker strip for our cross that goes across the middle and then a little bit thinner for the uh, diagonal lines. So we'll just cut a line. We'll cut two to make sure we've got plenty. Okay, so I've not done them really thick still. Mine are still quite fine. If you want to do them thicker, if you find it a little bit easy, easier, then that's fine. So I'm just going to put some water on the blue bit of fondant where I want it to go. So I'm just making a cross on my fondant. And I'm just going to lay that across the middle. And I'm just going to trim it at either end where it meets the edge of your dummy. And then just line it up here. So starting underneath, I'm going to cover this middle bit anyway, so you won't see the join. Turn it around. Just cut a straight edge again. And just make sure that you've lined it up with the bit below. Again, we're just going to trim that off. I'm going to cut a thinner piece now. And we're going to put these coming out from the centre. So again, I'm just going to add a bit of water where I want each of them to go. And I'm just going to cut a point at the end of my fondant so that it fits nicely into the centre bit. So we're going to push that into there like so. Again, trimming it off at the edge. And we'll do the same for the other three sections. So I'm just taking a bit of the red fondant now. And we're going to roll it thin in exactly the same way we have done with the red. And we're going to cut with the red with the white even. I'm going to cut strips, but we're going to cut them a little bit thinner this time. If it sticks to your work surface while you're rolling it, just stick a little bit of corn flour on and it should stop it sticking as much. So again, we're going to cut some strips. Just make sure they're a bit thinner than the white. So again, we're going to put a little bit of water down the centre of our main white cross. I'm going to put our red fondant across the middle so that you can see some white at either side. So I'll just push that on. You're just going to trim it off either side. So 
So again, putting it on the bit that goes below. And some more on the top bit. Try and keep them in line if you can. Okay, and now for our bits that go across the other way, we're going to try and cut the red a little bit finer if we can. So again, putting a little bit of water on so it sticks in place. Just going to lay that across there. So once we've got the red on, we're going to take a little piping nozzle to use for a round cutter. If you've got a really tiny round cutter, that's absolutely fine. I've got a number four nozzle on here. And what I'm going to do is just push a little hole in the side. So I'm not sure how well you can see that. And I'm going to put one in the opposite side. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is taking one of the three colours. So I've done red on my previous one. I'm going to do blue in the centre of this one. And I'm just going to roll a ball into an oval shape. So I'm just going to check I've got it the same size as what I've got my other one. I'm going to stick that in the centre of my dummy. So a little bit of water in the centre where it's going to stick. So once you're happy with the size, we're going to take a bit more and we're going to roll it into a long snake shape. So it's going to come around the edge of our dummy. So I'm just going to roll it just a tiny bit thinner. So I'm going to work out how long it wants to come. I'm going to have it so it just comes just below the dummy. So probably to about there. And I'm just going to put a little bit of water then at either side of my blue bit so that I can stick that down. Bringing it up and around at both sides. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to try this one with the white bit in the middle to see what that looks like. So you can either leave them to dry flat or if you want them to have an ever so slight curve, just put them on something that's curved. So I've just got a rolling pin here, and I'm just gonna gently push it around so it's got an ever so slight curve on it. And then once they've dried, um, I'm gonna leave mine overnight to dry, but once they're dried, you can just pop them on the top of a cupcake in like some buttercream, and they just make really nice little um, baby cake toppers. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please click on the images of the other videos suggested. Also, please do subscribe to my channel using the button at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also visit my cake website and my Facebook page to see more cakes and ideas.